Right. We have here some data to analyse the, the effect of temperature on photosynthesis in LO deer. We have five repeats so that we can calculate standard deviation. We're going to plot uh, temperature against the mean enzyme activity and then we're going to put uh, standard deviation error bars on that. So the first thing we have to do is calculate the mean. So in Excel the command is equals average equals average open brackets then select range of values and there you go. Click on that on the corner, drag down, and that'll do it for all of those values for you. In IB, they want you to have the same number of decimal places, so format those cells to show number no decimal places. There we go, lovely. Now, calculate the standard deviation. It's T uh, D E V dot P. That'll do for that. Return. There is your standard deviation for all of those. I'm going to do that to two decimal places. The IB will probably get upset, but don't really care. Uh, so, again, format cells. Let's do two decimal places. Doesn't look quite as silly. There you go. Lovely. Right, so now we need to do a uh, graph of this. So, going to plot temperature. So, click and drag down against the mean, so I click on the value up, command, apple key, thingy thing, click on the apple key and then drag it down and release. There you go. Click on charts, go for a scatter, marked scatter, and there you go. Lovely. Firstly, you've got it on your table. We don't want it there, it looks silly. Uh, control click on the area there. Move chart. Let's put it in a new sheet. There, look, lovely. So, firstly, don't need that. Click on that, delete. Goodbye. And then, chart layout. Let's make it look proper. So, uh, chart title. Title above chart, so uh, the effect of temperature on the rate of uh, gas production by an idea. Well, idea, right. Nope. Done. Click away from that. Axis titles, horizontal axis, uh, title below axis, that is the temperature in uh, insert. Oh, hello. Uh, ooh, normally insert a symbol there, can't we? Certainly I can't. Okay. Degree C. I can't find the degree sign. I'm sure you can do it, but life is short. Uh, so, more titles, a vertical axis. You want rotated title, otherwise it looks stupid. And this is the um, gas production in bubbles per minute. Lovely. Now we're almost there. It looks like a graph. Great. So first thing, let's firstly format those. If I control click on that, uh, format data series. I don't want 
diamonds. I want to have a nice cross. There we go, size nine. That'll be fine. Great. Now, this is the good bit. You're going to like this. Click on the data series there. Then click on error bars. There. Don't do that. Don't do that because bad things will happen. Uh, error bar options. Custom. Specify value. Then you can choose what the error bars are going to be. Now click on this bit here. That. Then click back on sheet 1. And then select your standard deviation values here. Press return. Do the next one. Click on this bit here. Whatever that means, standard deviation, that's going to set your lower limit on your error bars. Press return. Then click OK. And there you have it. Lovely error bars. They've done these horizontal ones too. I don't want those. Delete. And there you have it. Whatever you do, do not allow Excel to do a best fit line for you. Put that on for yourself. There you go. Jobs are good.